beautiful people welcome back to my channel i know i haven't posted in a long time but i'm back now so before we get started i just want to say thank you so much guys for engaging with me through comments some people are sending me emails as well so i really really love to hear from you guys and if you are new in this channel you are welcome please subscribe like share comment we would love to hear from you and on today's topic we're gonna talk about the cost of living in london let's get started so the first thing i want to touch on is rent um as i've mentioned in my other videos that the closer you stay to central london the more you are going to pay in terms of rent but um, if you work in london it makes proper sense for you to stay closer to your working uh, to working place so in this case i work in london and i stay in london we are renting a one bedroom flat and we pay about 1400 pounds a month for a one bedroom flat that excludes water electricity council tax wi-fi that's just for the flat alone 1400 pounds and then if i have to add all the other expenses it goes to about 1700 pounds a month that's just to have a roof over your head. You haven't yet um, included food. So if I were to convert that into a South African currency, into rands, it would cost me 36,000 rand just to rent a flat in London. So it is quite pricey. And as I've mentioned, it also depends on where you work. If you don't work um, in London, there's no need for you to stay in London because rent is expensive. So you can just like find a place outside of London, which is much more affordable. And now for groceries, um, we spend about 300 pounds for groceries, 300 pounds a month and this depends sometimes it's less sometimes it's more so it really depends on where you do your grocery shoppings and obviously with experience now we know where to buy things at a cheaper price we know where to get um, things at discounted prices but when we first got here we were just buying from any shop that we could find and we spent quite a lot of money so it's important for you to know where to get your your groceries and i don't find that groceries are expensive i feel like food is just as it's just as expensive as it is in south africa so I, there's not much of a difference in terms of um, grocery prices transport now this depends on um where you're traveling to um commuting as they call it so you do have quite a number of options they've got trains they've got tubes they've got undergrounds buses also they've got bicycles you can also rent a bicycle so you really have um so many options it just depends on your preference and in my situation i use a cube and i pay about 36 pounds a week so i buy a weekly ticket um so it costs yeah i buy a weekly ticket and it costs me 36 pounds from and to work so yeah a month i'd say i use about if i add my weekend trips as well where i go around exploring um, london or uk whatever so if i add my weekend trips it goes to about 180 pounds a month so i use about 180 pounds a month on transport and entertainment so let's say you got for lunch or you got for dinner um you would pay about anything from 10 pounds going up for a meal and probably four pounds around four pounds for a glass of wine maybe two pounds or three pounds for a glass of beer and um yeah so i think you would spend about 30 pounds on a meal and maybe two rounds of drinks if you go out on a restaurant however they do have um there's a lot of street food so there's quite a lot of um food markets and i personally think food markets are normally cheaper and there's quite a lot of variety so i would definitely recommend um 
food markets if you are going out especially if you are on a budget so thank you so much guys for watching this is where my video will end today this was a very very short video it's just to um let you guys know around um how much it cost to live in london i know that um I haven't gone into details with everything, but that's approximately how much it cost to live in London. I hope you really, really enjoy and I hope you are keeping safe, taking care of yourself, communicating constantly with your family during these times. Thank you so much for watching. Please share, subscribe, comment. I really, really love to hear from you guys. Until next time, goodbye.